This is the Sales Gravy Podcast. I'm Jeb Blunt, best-selling author of Fanatical Prospecting Sales EQ, Objections and Inked, and I'm here to help you fill up your pipeline, close bigger deals, and rock your commission check. Welcome back to another episode of Sales Gravy. I'm Jeb Blunt. On this episode, we're going to spend some time discussing listening and why effective listening is so important to effective sales negotiation. First, though, I'm excited to tell you that my brand new book, Inked, is available right now in bookstores. You can go to Barnes & Noble, Amazon, Google Play, or iBooks, or wherever books are sold, and pick up Inked. And when you grab Inked, go to salesgravy.com forward slash Inked. That's salesgravy.com forward slash Inked. And put in your receipt, and you'll get instant access to more than $3,000 of free resources. Now, Inked is a sales negotiation primer. In Inked, I tell you exactly what to do, exactly what to say, exactly how to plan, and the strategies and tactics that you need to stand toe-to-toe with modern buyers and win. I'll even teach you how to get past all the tricks that buyers play to take money out of your pocket. So go right now and pick up Inked wherever books are sold. At the strategic level, sales negotiation is like a chess game. But at the tactical level, it's like playing poker. Each party is hiding their emotions behind poker faces in an attempt to obscure the strength of their real hand. Sometimes they're bluffing, but the key is keeping their cards close to the vest. The most effective way to get a peek at those cards, though, is to keep your ears open and your mouth shut. You see, listening builds deep emotional connections with other people. And the more you listen, the more connected your stakeholder will feel to you. And as this emotional connection deepens, their trust in you grows and emotional walls begin to crumble. As the walls come down, the more they talk. And the more they talk, the more they'll reveal. And this gets you below the surface and lets you see their cards. This is why listening is where effective sales negotiators earn their stripes. Yet listening remains the most underappreciated and underutilized tactic in sales negotiation. Many ill-informed salespeople believe that to control the sales negotiation, they must be doing all the talking. Rather than listening, they're formulating what they plan to say to convince the other party to accede to their position. Listening is the weakest leak in interactions with stakeholders at the sales negotiation table. And we don't listen because it's hard work. It requires empathy, cognitive focus, and a conscious effort to manage our self-centered desire to interrupt and talk over the other person. Effective listening is the ability to actively understand information that is being expressed by your buyer while at the same time causing them to feel that you are paying attention, that you're interested, and that you care. It is controlling your disruptive emotions, being empathetic, and avoiding interrupting. It is listening with the intent to understand rather than with a desire to respond. Now, there are seven keys to effective listening at the sales negotiation table. And it begins with being prepared. Preparation puts you in a position to win. So before all sales negotiation conversations, you need to know your objective and your agenda and be ready with the questions that you will ask to clarify and isolate the other side's issues. The second key is being intentional. Being intentional means that you must commit to listening. You must choose to be a good listener. You must choose to be other-focused. Focusing completely on the person in front of you and being genuinely interested is an intentional behavior. Be aware of any disruptive emotions that impede your ability to effectively listen and determine to rise above them. The third key is being present. You must be there. You must be present in the conversation. Do not allow your mind to wander. Center your mind and focus 100% of your attention on the other person. When you fail to focus on the person you are interacting with, you are on a fast track to turning them off and breaking the emotional connection. This brings us to the fourth key, attention control. In today's demanding work environment, it is easy to become distracted. We are constantly looking at our devices. Phone calls interrupt conversations. Email, text messages, and social media distract us. If you've ever been in a conversation with another person who looks away, gets distracted by something or someone else, or interrupts your conversation to return a text message or email, you know how disrespected this makes you feel. When you believe that the other person is not listening to you, it hurts your feelings, makes you feel unimportant, and can make you angry. 
Now, just imagine how difficult it becomes to gain alignment on a negotiated agreement when the buyer feels this way about you. Whenever you interact with a stakeholder in a sales negotiation, be there. Be present in the conversation. Turn everything else off. Remain completely focused and do not let anything distract you. Turn the sound off on devices so that beeps, dings, and buzzes don't cause you to look away. Because the moment that you make the mistake of looking away, not only will you lose your concentration, but you'll offend the other person. And this is especially true on video calls, because the stakeholder has no insight into your environment and will usually assume the worst, that you are not interested in them. When meeting face-to-face, maintain eye contact. When you are on the phone, keep your eyes off papers and screens so you avoid the burning temptation to multitask. Controlling your eyes keeps you there physically, even when you're on the phone. Because, and this is very important, where your eyes go, your attention follows. The fifth key is deep listening. People communicate with far more than words. To truly hear another person, you must listen with all your senses, eyes, ears, and your intuition. This is called deep listening. When you open your senses to become aware of the entire message, you have the opportunity to analyze the emotional nuances of the conversation. As you listen, observe the other person's body language and facial expressions. You don't need to be an expert in body language to see obvious clues. You only need to be observant and tune in to the emotional nuances. Pay attention to the tone, timbre, and pace of the buyer's voice. Focus on the meanings behind the words they use. Be alert for emotional cues, both verbal and nonverbal, and use this information to flex to their preferred style of communication. When your buyer shows their emotions through facial expressions, body language, tone, or words, you gain insight into what's important to them or what they may be hiding. Whenever you perceive something that seems emotionally important, ask follow-up questions to test your hunch. This may give you a peek at your buyer's cards. Effective listening key number six is active listening. Active listening is a set of behaviors that provide tangible proof that you are listening. These behaviors include eye contact, acknowledging your buyer with verbal feedback and body language, summarizing and restating what you have heard, and using pauses and silence before speaking. Because active listening rewards your buyer for talking, it keeps them talking. And the more they talk, the more they will reveal their cards. And the seventh and final key to effective listening is pausing before you speak. Be careful not to cut your buyer off by blurting out your ideas or interrupting them with your argument. Pause and count to three before you speak. Leave room for them to keep talking. And when you do, what will surprise you is how often they show you their cards. Thank you for joining me on this episode of the Sales Gravy Podcast and make sure that you go right now and purchase my brand new book, Inked. I promise you that this book will make you more money this year. And after you purchase the book, go to salesgravy.com forward slash inked. That's salesgravy.com forward slash inked. Put in your receipt number and I'll give you access to $3,000 in free resources instantly.